Uh, our project is called Tappy Mint. Uh, it's uh, uh, we're 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 uh, trying to explore using uh, you know, the theme of the hackathon was tap taproot. We're trying to explore using taproot uh, and some of the related ideas uh, that we saw in the presentations earlier, like BDK descriptors. Uh, trying to use some of these things in uh, a project called Fediment. So, what is Fediment? Uh, so, these are some slides from a talk earlier. Uh, it's a it's a like a framework for building federations. So, a federation is is, is kind of like a, a script. You can think of like a scriptable multi sig, uh, a multi sig that like you know can have like smart contracts running inside it. So, that's uh, Liquid is a federation. Uh, you know, uh, shit coins are kind of almost federations, but they have their own, uh, they have their own, uh, a lot of smoke and mirrors to pretend they aren't. Uh, and so inside, inside, so it's like a scriptal multi-sig sort of like a trusted smart contracting system. Uh, and so each, uh, there's a couple modules, uh, one module is on chain wallet, uh, to deposit in and out. Another is uh, a mint, Chami and mint, uh, to have basically blinded IOUs. So, uh, you can, uh, whenever you spend the, uh, mint knows that you're spending a real IOU, but they don't know which one uh so it has extremely good privacy especially for like a custodial wallet usually you need a uh, non-custodial to get good privacy but this has probably better privacy than most non-custodial options uh, and then there's a lightning module to connect you to the lightning network uh so this is what it looks like in the lightning context you can have all these little little federations connect over lightning and uh, for, uh ideally from the outside they look exactly like uh, anything else uh they don't currently because it uses uh, multi set like segwit multi-sig but uh, that was one of the ideas of taproot is that we could get it so maybe it would look just like a normal address on chain uh so yeah fediment's an interesting project it uses all kinds of different stuff uh except taproot so we're going to try to do uh, you know threshold signatures uh interesting coin selection lightning multi-sig mute sig uh music without taproot you know name another project that does that <laughs> uh so yeah uh how about i do the deposits and then you do the the uh uh Actually, I think I might have lost the screen here. Okay, so here's how the deposits work. Uh, we don't want to when you deposit into Miniment, you uh, you uh, it's it's costly to like add add uh, generate an address because all the peers have to agree, all the federation members have to agree on what the address is going to be. Uh, so instead, you take a, a sorted a witness script dash sorted multi descriptor and you tweak each of the pub keys in them. You add a number to each of the pub keys. Uh, and then uh, you actually use a pub key for that proof, not just a number, a pub key. Uh, and then when you go to prove that you deposited into this multi-sig, you, uh, you supply the tweak, you supply a Merkle proof to the transaction. I think you just supply the transaction itself. Uh, and then you sign this, this proof in, in a, 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 minimum a Fediment transaction uh, with the pub key itself. Uh, so it's, it's a sort of a way to prove that like, you know, money was deposited to you and I did it. Right, so I want the IOU. I don't want someone else to jump in front of me and get the IOU. Uh, and so this would be a cool thing. It's uh, it would be cool if we could change this from uh, Segwit to uh, to uh, Taproot. You want to describe that one? Yeah. So our initial thoughts for when we were doing the Taproot event was that um, you know this is like a potentially a very large. This is a potentially a very large multisig, right? And so very large multisigs. You want additional privacy for the federation. Maybe we can hide that with a keypad spend. Um, maybe uh, like we can do different spending options depending on the amounts, all that kind of stuff. Hide that stuff in the tap tree. And so that was the initial thought that we had. And so like when we were first working on this was that like, yeah, um, you can kind of build it like this. So if you've got like a three of four um, federation, then you could disguise it as that um, each of the script spend paths are like of the three or four. But in the happy case, all the federation members agree. And then you can do an aggregated signature into the, um, into the key path. Right. And that looks like to anybody else on chain, just like a single on chain um, on single uh, single sig transaction, right? And so that was like the initial idea that we had, but we ran into this problem when we were trying to use BDK for it um, because BDK is like, you know, it supports like the uh, widest use case for it, which is, you know, I'm a person, I want to generate addresses. I want to use a hierarchical deterministic wallet to do so, right? In this case, the federation is not the one generating the address. The federation just puts a pub key up and then you as someone depositing into the federation are going to combine with that pub key in order to generate an address. And then you reveal um, the tweak that you did to the federation, right? So because the, the issue here is that the, the descriptor language can't do this yet. The min mini script, yeah, mini script and descriptor. We basically ran into like a problem where mini script descriptor language, which BDK is built on, can't do what we wanted it to. Uh, and so, so that was, that, yeah, that was uh, kind of interesting. Yeah. So like, I to to combine what Cody was saying, like. We could do a key spend, but that's you really need this protocol called roast to do that in an adversarial setting where no no one peer can interrupt it. Uh, if you're just doing music, you can't you can't everyone has to make it. 
Uh, so if you want like a threshold, you need this thing called roast, which is still like a research project. Uh, and tree spends would add like marginal privacy, but they're not that much of an improvement over just normal segwit. Uh, and so, yeah, this like, you know, uh, you know, this combo where it's like music, if everyone reaches consensus, but fall back to tree spend, if they don't, uh, that, that was like a, could be a cool, uh, middle ground, but it's a lot of implementation complexity. So we didn't get anywhere close to that. Uh, to, to what we actually did is we spent a day upgrading libraries to use BDK's version because we were trying to do BDK. And we, yeah, we got rid of a couple forked dependencies in the way. Uh, we reviewed a music to PR. We did all kinds of, yeah. Yeah, we did actual productive things versus rare to hackathon. Music on the, on the mini-mit federation side, like that's using music with the, what's going to be hopefully merged with the technical right? So like, sorry, you yeah, and so one last thing we made, uh, we with the help of Steve, we made all kinds of hacks inside this uh, in BDK. We added a tweak, a tweak module. This is like the core tweak trait where we can take a pub key that could be inside a mini a mini script, and then add the tweaking factor to the individual keys. Uh, so you can have like a multi sig, all the keys get tweaked. And so uh, yeah, we have a very crappy example here where we uh, generate an address by hand. Uh, and then we just pass the uh, raw descriptor to BDK. And we basically check that BD, like when, when we go and sync the wallet, uh, BDK goes and finds our address. Uh, so that's just like checking a balance. Eventually, we would need to do address generation and PSPT signing, but someday, yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's that's what we did. Thank you. Sorry. Come on, there's got to be something. Uh, going back to the design for here. Yep. So uh, I think you, I think you elaborate on it. Could you just repeat why you're using three of four down at the bottom of your rather than doing some sort of uh, aggregated config down in the three? Yeah. So sorry, when I said this three of four, this is an aggregated key for three of. That's three. actually oh, three of three. Yeah. Different okay. Exactly. Yeah. Sorry. Right. So, yeah. Three of three, three one of these, but. The idea behind it would be, and this is like another. Sorry, but there is three keys still using the object big at the yeah. operator. Yeah, yeah these are object big at. So yeah. And, and this is the key aggregate. But the problem is, you always, with this federation stuff, you always assume one of these guys is a trans scoundrel. Yeah. You're just trying to destroy everything. So uh, if you're, you know, that, that can destroy this very easily. Or just someone with a one. And these keys are, sorry, tweak keys for the federation. Yeah, so okay. for up here, this is what's getting tweaked by the um, person who's depositing it uh, into the federation, right? So this, you, know, you can kind of think about it as like a commitment verbal key, right? Where it's like before adding witness data, where it's like this is going to be before. They're going to tweak this with some public or private key pair. And then they're going to deposit money to it, and they're going to tell the federation, hey, I've deposited money into your federation. I'll reveal the private key to you if you uh, uh, um, give me the key cash code. If you give me the eCash token, you get the private key. Now you can spend this. And the spend for this is that when they tweak this, they were easy to tweak. Right? So all these uh, all these multi-sig spends are uh, easy to spend. Right? Is that true? Um, what's, what's the trick? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, what, in what sense? Well, because like I guess like I, what, what, I'm, what, what I'm getting lost at is is you're tweaking the, the hard top key. level key that gets oh, this the three. Yeah, so here's here's what it looks like now. You've got four keys, and then you basically okay. just add something to each one of these. Uh, and then okay. new so addresses we write. the leaves first. Yeah, yes. Yeah, okay. I was yeah. like, that was a, I was yeah. like, you're tweaking the top level key that does not. Okay, that that's sounds, so if you look in right. here where you call it is that the tweak descriptor, right? He's taking this public key and then he's tweaking this descriptor. So these are the yeah, federation okay. members' public keys. He's tweaking each one of these and then generating the address. Like that makes sense. Then you've got to share the tweet address to send it to the real public. Yeah. So it's like we had a cool, kind of cool idea. Uh, like, so the distributed language can't do this. I didn't realize that before we did this. So, like, what I was like, we had to do all the tax ourselves, right? So it'd be really cool if you just had something like this. You know, a tweet, tweet everything. And yeah, like, right like if, if you could have like a tweet uh, term and inside it, you could, it would basically. A method to like tweak all the public keys and private keys inside of it, like that would be kind of cool. And uh, I think what actually we're like, mini script inside is just like all these enums, like the implementation of yeah. enums. 
You just have like an agreement or something. I think we actually would potentially work, but we'd probably be the only ones using it. So no one else would have to step in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why BDK is interesting. You know, yeah. It was, it was yeah. helping us very generously. Yeah. Because he's like, yeah, we'd like to support this. It's like fundamentally the issue is that normally for normally we're building for an HD wallet, right? Where it's like you can deterministic to generate like a key store of addresses. But for these ones where you're kind of like doing them on the fly where somebody's taking a new address for you, like I can't generate those addresses until I just need to every time you make an address for me, store those um, like a separate it's like a different way of storing it. I mean it's just it's, it's like you know, you think of HD as like it's a string of incremental integers. This is like it's the same function, functional thing, it's just the the U32s are not incremented properly. Yeah. You know, bunch of, so you, you'd have to pass like your next tweet. It, 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 it's similar to Asian where it's in like, yeah. the wall context. Yeah. 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 Any more questions? Yeah. Cool. Thank you.